whole concept that we want to do uh, with Matchbox and those workshops. Uh, the goal is for Dev and the Matchbox community uh, to be able to learn about a certain topic uh, of uh, gaming on Starknet, of game development on Starknet, and to be to be able to master this topic at the end of each workshops. It could be about development, but it could also be about game design, about graphics, etc., etc. So the goal of all, all those workshops will be uh, for us to uh, to for Matchbox, I mean, to uh, to help you guys in your in your your game developer journey on Starknet. And uh, today uh, we we are happy to um, to have come as a guest um, Starknet Burner, which is a, a wallet that will permit you to have the session key and to use to to basically improve your UI. So. I think Gregory is there, so very cool. Hi, hello. Uh, uh, do so, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do hear you. So Gregory is the dev of uh, Starknet Burner, and Starknet Burner, he will present you everything today, but uh, Starknet Burner, uh, Burner is uh, the, the wallet that will permit you to have session key and to drastically improve the UX and the UI of, uh, of your wallets and of your games in general. So uh, we will, he will present everything, how to use it, how to install it, and uh, some, some use cases. I'll be introducing myself and, and uh, explaining uh, the, the agenda of this presentation. So uh, uh, StackNet, the, the burner, it's not really a wallet, but I'll, I'll dig into that. But at least it, it has the interface of the wallet and it does manage uh, uh, session keys. So the goal of this presentation is basically for, for the people who are developers for dApps or for games or other things to understand what is a session key, what they can do, and also obviously what the, the, the StackNet burner can help with. Uh, with. So I'll, I'll dig into that. Uh, so I'm Gregory, you'll see me uh, as a rabbit on the different uh, Discord, I guess, uh, on Magicbox and also on, on the StackNet uh, Discord. I work uh, with Cartridge. Uh, so I'm very bullish with cartridge. So so, and and we are doing a bunch of things. But the 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 burner is not actually. A, uh, it has started before I I, 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 I I'm involved with cartridge. So, but this is something if if you want to. I know a lot of uh, game developer or game games are, are moving to cartridge. So you'll see me also on, on the cartridge uh, on the cartridge um, Discord. Awesome. So what we want to do is um, we'll we'll dig into two different things. One is uh, really to to understand what the abstract account is and what it allows, right? Especially uh, uh, going forward for to 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 look at the the session key in particular. And uh, so so I'll ask you. Uh, I'll start from 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 the from the get go, and then I'll explain what what the burner is and how. It can help uh, games or, or other uh, scenarios. Um, so, so I'll try to to do that in, in say twenty minutes or so, so that we can keep some time to to have a different coding sessions. So I assume uh, I have four opportunities to to fail. Uh, I'll try to not fail all of them. Uh, the the good thing is uh, all those things uh, they are available as part of the of the burner. I'll show you. Um, they are in in a directory called example. So if you if you want to look at, at it, you, you'll be able to to look at it uh, at, at the same time I, I present this thing. So I'll try to to keep it uh, like in one hour or maybe more if if you have more questions. But uh, it should be it should be short, I'd say. Okay, very cool. That's okay. Yeah, well, let's let's do it. Okay, so so the goal. So, so one of the challenges for for game for game is to not uh, be interrupted, right? So what we want to do is make sure that uh, we can play and at no time or only at, on a few occasion will be interrupted to say sign something that doesn't mean anything in the game, like have a uh, a key that is uh, uh, yeah meaningless somehow. Right. So what we want to do is, is play with no interruption. But on the other hand, we, we want our assets, uh, all the all the things that uh, the, the the blockchain provides, 
not to be rugged, right? So it has to be secure. So, so it's sort of a, a double challenge. So the, I'll explain the way it works right now and uh, what Session Key uh, provides. Right, so, so the way it works right now is you have your game, and at some point, because you need to, you, you need to interact with the blockchain, you will do something that will trigger the wallet. And so, whether it's Argent or or, or Bravo, it will it will show up. Uh, you will interact with it. The wallet itself will interact with with the blockchain, and then you get a feedback and. It's not over because, because uh, the feedback will say, well, the transaction has gone, but it's not over. You're not sure that the transaction will succeed, right? And so obviously it's, it's for, for write uh, transactions. So if you're just reading the, the blockchain, it's okay. You don't have that experience, but uh, uh, for, for, for all the right transactions, you'll get this kind of experience. And uh, it can take time. There are a few challenges with that if, you, if you're used to it, especially on games. One is that uh, because you, you might want to, to, I don't know, mint uh, an asset and then uh, send the asset to someone. Uh, so you, you won't do just one transaction, but two. And in that case, you'll have to deal with the nonce. So, so it's even harder because, well, you, you have to wait for, for the first transaction to make sure you get the right nonce, or you might have some problems at some point, right? So that's how it works right now. Uh, what is important to understand is that in the case of Startnet, it, it's, it's somehow uh, different from the other blockchains or most blockchains because actually the wallet is just the signer. They, they, that's the account that does the transaction behind the scene. So the account is a smart contract that is in Startnet. And um, what you are doing is uh, basically interacting with that account. And what, you may think it's not that different, but it, it will come as a detail that will change things, right? Uh, because, and that's the, the next slide, what, what we could imagine and uh, is a flow where instead of going through the wallet, you would, you would directly connect to the account that is in Starknet. And, um, and by doing that, uh, you, will, you will speed up things and make sure that uh, you, you and, and somehow remove the, the the signing thing, but that's a problem because what you the signing is very important because it's securing the the transaction, right? So, but at least in theory and and even in practical, it's it's quite easy to do it. You just uh, create some sort of wallet. You you put a, a, a key and you sign the transactions, right? So the problem is not doing it. Uh, the problem is doing it in a way that is safe, secure. And so uh, the the key here is that what you want to do is 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 um, obviously put the security in the account, like I said, but also have something that secure the the what will happen. And this thing is an off chain pre agreement on on the key, right? So so um, I don't know. If, yeah. So, so the, the key idea here, and, and that's all you want to, to if there's only one thing you want to, to remember is that thing. So the session key is not sign the transaction, but sign the signer. So what you'll do is instead of signing a transaction as you would do in any other um, interaction, you will, you will, um, you will have a, a, a private key that we'll call the session key. So that will be in the app. And uh, the, your, your wallet will actually sign that private key. So we'll talk about how it does the signing, but it will sign the private key. Uh, it will actually sign the public key of your private key, right? And it will also assign some ACLs to that. So saying uh, you'll have a control list saying you can do this, this, and, and that, but you cannot do other things, right? So it's pretty easy. Like if if you want to say, you you can sign everything like up to the transaction, right? So so if you want to say, uh, I want to make a transaction in a game, right? You can request the, the the someone somewhere, not in your game, in another place, to sign the fact that you will be able to sign the transaction. 
and you can sign everything like the nouns, the amounts, the, everything. Uh, it's not like like that that it's implemented right now, but but uh, even if it's not like that, you can actually do that. So you can say, I will I want to do one transaction only, and you'll have someone uh, probably granting you access to to that transaction. In the case of a game, what you'll do uh, uh, most likely is say this is the ecosystem of a game. So probably you have two, three, four contracts with uh, different methods you, you, you will call during the gameplay. And you will say all those methods, like, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 methods, uh, I want them to be open uh, for, for the game, right? And, uh, and by doing that, you'll have a, a key uh, that has been signed by the real signer and which is limited in, in, in access. So uh, assuming the, the, your contract have been audited, you can guarantee that uh, someone will not be rugged by for, for something that he doesn't, he didn't, he didn't uh, agree upon before. So that's, that's basically the idea. Don't sign the transaction, sign the signer. And it's not like it's a flow, it's really that. Uh, next come, how do you manage that in, in, in the case of a game or in the case of an app, right? Um, any question at that at that time? We'll, we'll dig into uh, how you you will make it uh, in real, right? But it's just a concept. So feel free to to stop me if you have any questions. Right? Yeah, feel free to to ask messages uh, and or to take the to, to to speak because there's not a lot of people, so you can no problem with that. Uh, I'll, I'll let you continue, Gregory. Okay, so so uh, next come so what's the burner uh, enables and so what we did actually is uh, implement the session key right as part of a like you said a, a, as a black box uh, that it has the same interface as a wallet uh, and it's managing the key, but it's not a wallet, meaning that uh, we don't manage the account. The account has to be another one. And, and uh, so the, 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 the great news is uh, uh, since yesterday, uh, uh, Argentex is able to manage the, um, the, the session key uh, out of the box. So as part of the wallet, I'll show you. So uh, basically what we do now, uh, what we, we, we integrate. So back in, in July, we were uh, providing a, um, an account with that, with the session key, because that was the key. Uh, but uh, since uh, last week, now we, we provide the session, we, we manage the session key uh, from Argent. And if at some point other um, providers, other wallets uh, provide other, uh, the same sort of mechanism, or if you want to, to integrate your own account, Probably will be able uh, to 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 add that to to the to the burner. Uh, key things: uh, it's it's free, it's free to use, free to share. So, uh, project it's MIT. Uh, it, you don't you can copy the code and do whatever you want with it. There's no there's no real business beyond that, right? So there's no business actually. Uh, there's no business at all <laughs> beyond that. That's why I, I'm, I, it's always um, funny to see people uh, come and say, "Oh, do you do you want we help and so on?" Uh, of, of course, we'll be happy uh, for people to help, but uh, we are looking for for people to just develop this and improve the, the thing. We are not uh, trying to 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 build a business on top of it. Um, the thing is, we we want to make sure that. Uh, if you have an app and it's already connected to a wallet, it's very easy to 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 do that uh, with the session key. You hear me? Yes, no problem. Okay, because I all uh, okay. I got a, I got a, a sound. I was thinking I was disconnected. Okay, so uh, yeah, the point is, if your if your app is already running with with a with a wallet. It should be easy to, to move to, to to the burner, and the reason is because we implement the same interface. It's working uh, on a web browser right now, so we don't provide any other thing that than the web browser interface right now. It's working on Girly, uh, also because uh, we, we don't actually have uh, contracts with uh, with uh, session keys on on mainnet, but uh, and but once uh, we have it, uh, it, it will be to to move to it. 
And also, what is important is uh, the agreement between the wallet and the session key is happening fully offline, off chain. So you don't have to interact with the with the blockchain to 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 grant the access to to the user. And so basically, what it is is you. You remember the first the first uh, slide where I was saying you have to interact within the with your wallet. So it's exactly the same, uh, meaning that you have a script that mimic the the wallet and provide the interface as part of the window uh, interface in the in your brother. Um, but it's doing the thing behind the scenes so and and it's by default it's auto signed so every time you run the transaction it, it will it will get the transaction uh change it in a way that uh is compatible with the with, with the uh session key uh, sort of transactions and send it to start startnet and and bring back the the feedback right right away Obviously, uh, the transaction won't be speeded up by that, right? Because you still have to wait for, for the block to, to go to the end. So uh, you'll still have to wait for notification somehow. So if you are using a Starknet React, for instance, uh, you'll have to monitor the transactions to make sure the transaction is uh, has moved uh, from uh, from receive to uh, to to um, to on L2 and and uh, yeah. That will be the same experience. There are other things to do, but uh, for now, at least on the start, the start and burner, that's that's all we do. Um, so the point is, uh, as a developer, why you want to do that is because because uh, it's easy to use. Uh, Also, public good. So, so I think, I think the, the thing is that is that if somehow you are getting some opportunity, uh, it will be free for you, free, and you will get some some benefits from the fact that uh, you have all the projects that are working on that. So and uh, also, we want to so that there is one thing we really want to we are pushing for is to have it audited so that uh, people can rely on it uh, safely. And so basically, it's the it's the front part of the of the wallet. And so, if there is a new feature, like I was saying, if, you, if for instance we manage to to manage to announce in a better way, or to create some caches or, or things like that, then it could be beneficial for people for your game. So that's it. So so I, I came with a few questions in case you don't have any, but don't hesitate. Maybe it's it's a good time. Maybe uh, I had to make it short, but. Uh, yeah. I have one for you, Gregory. Uh, can you just put back the slide 10? Back the slide 10. Uh, and the question is if I have Stacknet Burn on the wallet, then uh, what I want to do is like call a contract that is not uh, signed by the signer. Uh, so the, the, how it works is the same way as usual. That is not um, that has not been agreed by, by your wallet. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it won't do anything. It will just. Uh, it will just. Uh, that's something that we need to yeah, to, to improve. To make sure that uh, it's compliant with the policy that has been put within the within the, the session. But right now it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. It just. Uh, it just make it fail. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. So, so what do you prefer for this? Uh, maybe a message? Or, uh, yeah, there's just 
again, we are, we are doing the same interface. So, so the same way you would, you would run on the left on the wall. Well, for instance, you could, you could say you have a, a real wallet, you open the wallet, uh, the app doesn't know what's happening inside the wallet. So, if you look at the transaction inside the wallet, you'll have an error on the app. You'll, you'll get an error from the feedback from the from the call. The callback will, will uh, get into an exception, actually. So, you'll have it. And uh, this is something that, that yeah, happens on, on the real wallet. So you have to to, to manage those errors. Yeah. Good. Well, yeah, I, I see. I see. So, so guys, don't hesitate if you have any questions. There's a chat. You can ask them. Uh, you, you can ask it there, or, or you can stay like you can speak <laughs> as I'm doing now. Uh, so, uh, Greg, we are. I'll let you continue. Thanks. So, if you don't have any questions, maybe I'll come uh, later. Now, but we'll dig into the details. Um, so. Uh, I will I will switch away from the presentation. I'll try to, to, to show you a bunch of things. Uh, so maybe the first thing I'll, I'll be showing you is uh, Argent. So you probably uh, if if you open Argent right now. Uh, yeah. I never remember. So you, you, you should be opening a um, uh, release uh, uh, .8.1. So, uh, here, it is, here it is. Right, for right. .8.1. And you'll see there is an experimental uh, uh, thing, right? And so you can say, I want to use the plugin. And if you do that, uh, yeah, you change it. Change it. <laughs> uh, that's weird. That's weird. Uh, so it was supposed to update the 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 act. I assume they, now they are the act yeah, by default is the, the one that supports the plugin plugin. But before it was it was a uh, one that uh, that was a different one. So now it's even better. I assume, I assume, right? Right. And so so uh, what we want to do is is. Uh, uh, have the plugin installed, so you need to install the plugin. Now I'll be showing you uh, one that I know uh, is working. Actually, yeah, obviously, that won't work. <laughs> okay, so here we do have a Argent text with the plugin installed, and so if you have the plugin installed, you should have something like that on your Argent text saying, okay, I have the plugin. Right, right. And so, so uh, uh, it doesn't change anything. It's, change it's anything. just uh, that so once you have the plugin, plugin, if assuming you have an app that, that uh, requests you for so so the plugin, so plugin, so for instance, I'll show you this one. So we've created part of the other kernel where we can create a, a web app. Web app. Really, really. Okay, so that's a funny one. 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 Do you hear me? You hear me? We do, we do, we do. Okay, okay, because I was thinking. thinking. We do, we do, we do. Um, okay, why well, am uh, I not working? Not working. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. I'll show you uh, uh, the stuff. Stop. That's funny, it's funny. Uh, uh, so part of the wallet, I'll, I'll show you the wallet. So part of wallet is wallet. Is available yeah, from uh, 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 Don't Panic Down on GitHub, right? right? So right. if you go to GitHub, GitHub, GitHub Don't Panic Down. down. Um, um, uh, there is the, uh, the uh, project called call, call, StartNet Burner. burner. StartNet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go on, go on. And you'll see, you'll see they are actually, yeah, actually not only one, one, but a number of them. Number of them. Uh, one is, uh, and one is called drone, drone, right? right. So drone is actually uh, uh, an app that, that, that you can use to use to connect to, to to your wallet, your wallet and the request for the sign. And, and it's and it's it's, uh, it's on a separate app, right? right. So I'll show so you, I'll show you uh, in a minute. In a minute. Uh, 
uh, what, 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 what I'll be showing you, showing you uh, is this is directory, directory example directory where we, we do have, do have a number of directory uh, and we'll, we'll probably start with this one. This one. So the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, node nodes also, also the thing with the node, node one is that uh, you, you don't have to interact, interact with, with, uh, with your browser at all. At all. So, so, so it's a good way to start with the on the flow. Yeah, yeah. The flow you can set up, set up. This is something, this is something that, 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 by the way, by the way, people, people don't really get in, get in, uh, get, get, uh, because, because we, we've, we've said, said that, that, that uh, the session is something, something that, that, that uh, is sort of a flow, flow where you, uh, you, you sign, sign, sign some, you have the session system where, or, 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 you, or you sign, sign, sign it, and you, then you run transactions, and you don't have to do that. It's really, it's really something, something that requests that, 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 that request, request, that allows you to sign the signer, signer. And so, and so you can create a set by set right where, for instance, you can play the game or game or beyond the DAP, DAP, just at some point I want to do a transaction action and not have the design that sign that for before. It could be that you have the key to keep being signed, signed at that moment before. So you can have different scripts. The thing here is I have basically three scripts. One is the is the, the, the one that wanted to get the key, the key right. right, right? So, so uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the that's one. The one. So it's a uh, script. It's, 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 it's a very simple, 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 simple script. Then yeah, the good thing is, thing is actually, actually, actually I'm just, just, I'm just asking, asking for, for for the private private key, key uh, uh, one or one. Right. So you create, right. you have the you private private key, key uh, uh, generate the public key for private private key. And what you are doing is just sending sending the the public key. So now I know why why it's not working because because it wasn't working the right the right URL. Okay. Okay. So it will, so be, it will drawn be drawn dot dot black black cube. Right, right. So that's so that's it. And here and here. So, so this is what we are we are right now is a number, number, number of uh, of signature signatures, right? Because uh, because uh, like, I said, like I said, you'll have you'll have different different, different ways of signing the thing. The thing. So, so for instance, for instance uh, I find the, 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 the node app. Node app. So this is this is the one I want to show you. Showing you, you can do it with your wallet. Wallet. And again, and again, you'll have it uh, from the from the from the example. From the example. You you just click on the sign. And sign and what you see is that you open, open Argent, Argent, right, right. Argent, Argent, and and we'll have, we'll have a, a some sort of a, sort of a, a, a scheme, scheme here, right? right. And in this in this you scheme, have a number of interesting, interesting stuff. stuff. Like here, like uh, uh, what I'm saying is that yeah, this is the address of the contract I want to call, and this is the method. And so here, what I'm doing, I'm just here, calling what I'm doing is so here, what I'm doing is here, 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 the Merkle tree that uh, is used to, to set up all the all these uh, all these uh, policies. The reason why uh, they are doing that is because you can have I don't know maybe uh, 20 or even more policies, so you don't want to push all those policies every time. So what you'll do, you'll you'll, what you'll, do, you'll sign something with all the policies, and you will use the the, the Merkle root tree uh, to plus a number of uh, of uh, policies. Uh, to make sure that uh, that's actually uh, the right policy that you are requesting to see that you are policy in law, you will pass it as part of the as part of the, as part of the as right. And uh, and uh, and other than that, you also have the other than that, you also have the uh, the the schema description. Schema description. So it's uh, so it's. Uh, Something that is compiled, it's supposed to be compiled with the EIP 712. So, some sort of schema inside, schema inside, right? So, I'll sign it, right? I'll sign it. I will provide me with the signature. I'm not sure I use the right one, so I'll use the right one, so I'll have it correctly. So, I go to node, so I go to node, right? And I will just.
Yeah, so it will ask me for it will ask me for for the URL. For the URL. So that's the the public key I'm using. The public key. I'm using. So I, I need you to sign the right. Uh, I need you to sign the right. Uh, I want to make sure it's okay. Uh, I want to otherwise the, the demo will the fail. The demo will fail. Right. So here I just connect to it. I sign it. I sign it. This is she is assigned. She is assigned. So it's uh, right. uh, and uh, I'll copy that. And, uh, I'll copy that. and in the sign key, I also have the account right, right here. Right before that, that, I never said right that. that uh, I never said that. Uh, I will play with will that account. Right. Right. So it's sign key. So I'll take it. I'll put it in. I'll put it in my in my in my script script. Right. So in the script, you need the root key. So I assume the root key is the same one. Yes, it is. The contract is the same one, right? Because that's the one I'm using. The selector is the same one. The expiration is different. Expiration is the one. Change expiration. And the root uh, is. The power. Yeah, so right now you have the, the
outside the, the script. So you don't have to 